getting that where it needs to be. You'd think I would be a little more prepared for this kind of thing, right? You know? Oh. Well. So, hey, Orgaya, how you doing, buddy? All right, we are going to continue playing this wonderful game. Um, we are just moments away from meeting the king. So that's where we left off last night, and we're going to just get right into it. Yeah, I think the music's great. I may just steal this music to use for my stream. Although, I don't know, is this fair use music, or is this something that um, I'm not able to use? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it! I'm doing it live! Right! Yeah, let's do this! Uh, state your business beyond the gate. I am Drake, and this is my accomplice, Perrin. We have an audience with the king this morning. Ooh, I'll have to look him up. Wait here. Perrin, you may have noticed that these two guards are different from the rest. Wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> wait. You're playing it mobile, but with... Oh, wow. I don't know how to feel about you right now, dude. Taking in Denor... What? Oh, God. The King in Dorf! What? Oh, the King in Dorf! <laughs> You are such a dork. Okay, now now back to Shinta playing PUBG Mobile but using a mouse and keyboard. Is that even legal? You <laughs> Nice man, nice. <clears throat> you may notice these two guards are different from the rest. These are members of the Royal Ring Reserve I mentioned a while back. Oh. Yeah, bad. <laughs> Otherwise known as the Triar. They will be, uh, they will be swarming the castle interior alongside more of the neutral spiriters you've seen in the courtyard. This is one of the reasons I should be doing the talking. <laughs> See, that, that's a good way of looking at it. It's like, you know what, fuck it, it's just my Google account. Who uses that? Ugh, alright. Drake the Armorer? From Polyper Town? That's right. You visited rings many times in order to deliver wares requested by his majesty. Yes. And the correspondence from the king himself is pro Evidence is not being questioned. Your visit frequency should be enough for you to understand that the Great Uniter is not to be referred to as a king. What? Ah. We forgo reviewing this transgression as it does not appear to be a repeat offense. You are otherwise clear to pass. Welcome to Unity Castle. Here we go, Perrin. Wait, what? What's going on? Unity Castle. Ooh, I should I should probably stay on the uh, <laughs> on the path. Nope, nope. We're going to the well. I can't play it. Well, you know, hey, let's look around. Ooh. Hey. Hello. The guard doesn't even pass you a glimpse. Ooh, ooh. They don't give a fuck. They're like, whatever, dude. Everyone's like, we don't give a fuck who this guy is. Ah, it's locked, gang. All right, well let's let's go meet the king, or well, I'm not supposed to call him the king. What do we call him? Hey, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Gotta go. Uh, what's it? Uh, oh god, what's the uh, what's the one that I'm thinking of? That's like my favorite, like, like, like um. There we go. <laughs> okay, up oh, Castle Main Hall. I think I think they're they're blinking a little too fast. Maybe if they went a little slower, that it wouldn't feel as busy like you're saying. But I I, I don't really find them. Yeah. Welcome to Roxbury Castle. <laughs> What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Alright, let's... Um... Hello. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this... Okay, let's... <laughs> Hello. You must be, like, the visitors. We are, your highness. I say... 
I apologize for the redness, but my husband is currently in a meeting with someone else. It is of no consequence. We are patient. I recognize you, Drake, but I'm unfamiliar with your friend hair. Like, totally. Yes, yes, that's right, real CGG. <laughs> what is your name, sir? You're allowed to answer. My directive was just a precaution. Eh, it's Baron. The ring is really just also refreshing because lag. <laughs> Baron. I say. Ah, Harry comes. Drake, is it? Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> How is my armor coming along? This delay is part of the reason I am here. <laughs> if it gets to be too bad, our guy, I'll just go to a normal voice, but. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. I see. <laughs> Let's make this quick then. I paused my previous meeting for this. <laughs> I'm just being too goofy tonight. I don't know what's with me. I think I'm like overly tired. Okay. All right then, Drake. Spit it out. My great uniter. I'm here on behalf of... Spit it out, Drake. I'm here to talk about a number of things. First and foremost, the Aquans and the Acolytes. <laughs> bah, two failed terrorist organizations that are now leaderless, as my spies have informed me. Yes, well, that does not make them any less dangerous. I'm asking... LESS DANGEROUS?! <laughs> when were they ever dangerous to begin with? When was the last time you saw any of those Aqua idiots do anything other than steal a chicken? <laughs> and these... Acolytes. They were rogues for goddess' sake. Wouldn't need anything more than a stick to run them through. You are right, of course, but... I'm sorry, Drake, but it's a waste of my time. We're more than equipped to handle a few dwindling hooligans. Like, if I may interject, my lage, I believe Drake is implying that... In, that, uh, under my... Un... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> The underestimation is usually what fells rollers. Like, come on. The puppy parade. <laughs> you are probably correct. Arrogance is indeed a ruler's common enemy. And as the great uniter, I shouldn't let me play before a fool. Very well, Drake. I've been convinced enough to look into the matter further. Now, what are your other concerns? You have my gratitude, your highness. I'd also like to bring to your attention the guy Cole. My attention has already been brought there. <laughs> your mother was a dumb whore! You with a fat ass, Drake! I had to... <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> Look at this cool. My bank hasn't transferred my money yet, so this is all I can do. Oh, thanks, real CGG. Appreciate you. Thank you. That really, that really meant a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this cool rock I found. <laughs> it, it has. Yes. Apparently, a group of bandits attacked a settlement and killed many of the village's inhabitants. Hmm. I see. Well, I'm sorry to say, but the man standing beside me and my brother are most likely the culprits you are referring to. What? Oh, you, I wonder is because he said besides me and my brother. Hmm, is that was that a little typo? Just pointing it out in case it was. How dare you bring him into my court if this is true? How dare you bring him into my city, unshackled, and let him walk amongst my citizens? Hey, man, appreciate it. You are awesome. And I can't wait to get more Pembry on the stream, too. Oh, I want to see how that one goes. Thanks, man. The rulers of Ring have long had a ceasefire with the guy Cole due to our mutual understanding. Acts of aggression are not to be tolerated. Ceasefire? Furthermore, by bringing him here to talk of peace shows that I am possibly considering pardoning this criminal. 
This murderer, despite his heinous crimes. Like, perhaps my lady should hear them out first. Like, there may be a good reason for the attack. Ah, uh, okay. This... This is true. Forgive me my overreaction. You do have a good reason for this act, yes? I was not there, but I can... I'd like to hear it from the perpetrator himself. Go ahead. Ooh. Do I just out? Do I just spit it right out? Boom! Guess what I am, bitches? I'm the call rod! <laughs> or it was self-defense. Hmm. <sighs> All right, well, we'll, 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 we'll take it with a gentle hand. We'll start off with, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the king now. <laughs> it was self-defense. Why did they attack you, then? This is the primary reason, reason we came here, Great Uniter. To let you know before hearing it a different way. I'm still asking the young man. Of course. It's probably better to hear it from you, anyway. I am the Conrad. Oh, that's what- That's the voice I should use for Perrin! I am the Conrad. You will bow before me in my great power, or I will ruin your world and turn it to ash! <laughs> I'm the Terminator. I'm a cybernetic organism. Nope, it's okay. Don't worry about it, Argaya. <laughs> I am the call rod. This is what I want to explain in our own words. <laughs> Get to the chopper! Great Uniter, are you aware of the term Gaiken? It refers to the three titans that are capable of destroying the world. Yes, I am aware. Now that it is brought up, I assume this boy is somehow connected to them? Is it meant to stop them somehow? <laughs> I'll crush you like crackers over the soup! Mmm, thank you, it's delicious! <laughs> In other words, have you come here to tell me of some ancient prophecy about the end of the world, and this one here is our savior? No, he... The Kalra's purpose is actually to bring the Gaiken here. And you brought him here in the heart of Plyus. Really? I can't imagine why the guy Cole would attack you. I am stating that he is innocent because Perrin never knew he was the Colrod until the guy Cole themselves revealed it to him. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Well, at least you'll, there's still the video on demand if you have to watch that. Kind of sucks. I was hoping you could be here like real time. It is still unclear how this is an issue. To me, that seems merciful. Letting you know before valiantly slaying you for the greater good. Possibly. But we're stressing that Perrin has no intention to summon the Gaikin. We've come here to explain that we are not your enemy. We are your allies. Video on demand, yes! <laughs> we're all learning something new today. So you can assure me this boy, Perrin, is not intending to become a danger to my people? Yes. And what would it take for that to happen? As far as I understand, he would need to physically cross into their world, the Bridge of Absence. I see. Well then, it seems obvious that the problem can be avoided altogether if you just stop pursuing the subject from here. <laughs> for a moment I was worried. Doesn't seem likely any of you are planning on a trip over there, does it? Well, we... <sighs> Perrin is equipped with a blade that will allow him to cross over. He needs to go there in order to retrieve the friends he's lost to creatures in the Gaikin's servitude.
I'm failing to see what you're trying to convince me of. I understand the difficulty, my liege. But we came here to lay ourselves bare before your judgment as friends. And my judgment you will receive. For now, I will just have to consider all of this. Neither of you are permitted to leave Ring until this matter has been resolved. Now, is there anything else before I return to my prior meeting? Yes, actually. <laughs> that's, that's a kingly sigh there. <laughs> I should have done him like Nixon. I am not a crook. So far, you have only brought me up issues that seem unresolvable. <laughs> well, consider this a non-issue. We're simply returning something that may belong to you. Is that so? Bring it here. You hand over the king's signet. It's a ring fastened to a necklace. That it is. And has a symbol of royal succession. A hexagram. He's basically... <laughs> I am unfamiliar with it. It undoubtedly belongs to us, so it could possibly be one of my daughter's trickets. Where did you find us? Perrin found it beneath Lake Varus. He led an assault against the Acolytes after they attempted to form an alliance with the Gaikol. Just for the, all, all the characters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Derek is just, you know, Washington. <laughs> um, um, who's it? Uh, what is it? Um, um, which one? I, I, I'm trying to think which one would be Obama. <laughs> Vampire. <laughs> it appear they were after it. The guy Cole had this, and the Aquans knew they had this. Along with parents' company, the Aquans additionally f entered the fray. It is where both Fury and Arquana were, where both Fury and Arquana perished. It may seem that their claims hold some merit, my liege. Like, oh my god, their claims, like, jays. Yes, possibly. I will have words with them. If I may be so bold to inquire, does this have any relation to why Ring's borders are closed? Yes. Y yes. Yes, as in that is a bold inquisition. I would be in your. It would be in your best interest not to ask it again. The current situation with the gates is delicate. A peace will not hold up with prodding. Now, really, I must be returning to my meeting. I will take everything you've said today into consideration, Drake. It just occurred to me. None of that seemed like it would distract from iron, like it would distract from your iron work. My brother Perius was kidnapped by the guy Cole. Ah! I don't give a fuck. I'm a king. I just want my breastplate. Where is my breastplate? I suppose that's all we can do. For now, we should return to our room in Green District and wait until the king has made his decision. Uh, 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 like, not quite, my queen. Drake, why don't you enjoy the hospitality of the castle? What do you mean? I'm offering you some time to relax. I would like to speak with Perrin alone. Very well. I will wait outside. You may stay indoors. We'll hold our conversation in my chambers. Are you sure that's... I am sure, Drake. Perrin, when you're ready, meet me privately down the hall to the right of here. Ooh. The queen wants me in her chambers. <laughs> well then, who am I to say no to royalty? <laughs> Drake has left your party. I don't know what the queen wants from you. Just be courteous and answer her questions. <laughs> no, no, the queen wants to hop on Perrin's um innuendo. 
But above everything else, be careful. The guards and definitely the king himself will not take kindly to you being alone with the queen in her room. Uh, better make this quick. Get the hall to the right. I roll. <laughs> Private chambers. Good, your hair. There! Orgaya, that's what he paid. The queen wants his call right. <laughs> yes, that's why you're here, man. God, your hair. Take a seat. Make yourself, like, comfortable in some junk. I'll be with you in just a moment. All right, I'll take the seat. Nope, she locked the door. But try our command truth up sometimes. In case you were wondering. My husband had this room built for me in the event that he was much too busy to be warming me in the much colder, larger room we share occasionally. Turns out it's pretty frequent that he's busy. Oh, ooh. Is the queen looking for some... Maybe she is looking for his call rod. Would you like a drink? Sure. It'll be just a moment. Being married into royalty did exactly what I had hoped it would do. Grant me every wish I ever had. Isn't that typical? Like every little girl's dream. To be whisked away to a castle and given everything they've ever desired. Oh. Well, so it goes in the storybooks. God. Gina's such a bitch. <laughs> it's always Gina that's the bitch. <clears throat> Being given what you want any time of the day or night, appropriately enough, rids you of one thing that is required to make these things enjoyable. Want itself. Oh, she's got a want. Well, my husband being busy all the time. Perhaps some company too. And a roam. With a fire. Tell me, apparent. How old are you? So do, do, do I start a diplomatic incident? Do I uh, show her the call rod? Because I mean... Uh, you know, it's not every day that a queen, like, uh, picks you out and is like, Hey, why don't we go have a drink? Of course, I'll, you know I'm good. That's that, that's my choice, one hundred percent. I mean, there's no there's no going back on this. This is this is how it's gonna be. This is <laughs> old enough. <laughs> Not the answer I was expecting, but amusing nonetheless. Hello, Guardian Hips, you have arrived. I can, of course. I'm not that shallow. Oh, God. <coughs> she closed the door. I was the one who ordered Ring's gates to be closed. Why? You may have picked up on the not-so-subtle cues that I was leading that meeting back there. As someone who was made to be a trophy wife to fill a position, I was fortunate that Daphne is as an idiot. And make no mistake, Perrin, my husband is an, like, total idiot. Like, oh my god. He is a, a loser. Small suggestions intermittently laced within his conversations delude his adult, superstitious mind into believing my position has led him to make his own decisions. Huh. Earlier was a practical joke on you. I have no intention of inviting you to my bed. Aww. That makes me sad. Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, the queen's kinda... Whew, she's the queen of hot, that's the... <laughs> well, I mean, if, if, I, if I were into those sort of things. <clears throat> After all, I'm not some cooped up royal figure wanting to escape the monotony of boredom. Even though I make her sound like one. <laughs> well... Perhaps that was at one point. 
And perhaps it was tastefully forbidden to bed someone at your age, but... Thrill just became part of the cycle of wanting something. <laughs> is this going somewhere? Of course it is. I wouldn't have summoned you in here if it weren't. Make no mistake. It's leading into answering why I would close up the world to its largest population. What could be a funny thing? The lack of it has allowed me a unique perspective from the outside, allowing me to view it in other people. But I come to realize that no one truly wants anything. What is the need we have to fulfill an objective? For that objective is the platform to want something else. Like, isn't that just really deep? You want peace. <clears throat> that, that sounded weird. <laughs> Soon after, I'll become wanting law. With law, fairness. Ugh. And soon, fairness becomes justice. Observing, however, can only take one so far. So in order to compensate for my inane human feature, I have to devise a little game. Ugh. Go on. The single standing rule to this game is that I want what I want is the one thing I'm not allowed to have, and that's the biggest, blackest dick. <laughs> Unfortunately, fate is more about triviality than I, so give me the tools required to break the rule. A cage, and a hunter, ring, and yo. You want me to play? What I want is very simple. You're going to bring it back for me. Nothing can enter or exit ring. Therefore, the target is still within the city. You're going to catch a rabbit. All of this for a rabbit? Ha, huh. it'll make sense when you've caught it. <clears throat> You'll find this rabbit where pixies have ordained their home. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I know those reactions are for the dick comment. And I love that you're. Like, I can't even. Oh, please forgive me, Orgaya. Please forgive me. Yeah, guy can. See, it, this is all. This is all the foreplay leading to Gaiken two, which is again more foreplay. But then Gaiken three is where you actually get to, you know, you know. Pickle, pickle, pickle. I'd be unwise to share a conversation with anyone else. Trust me, Perrin. I would know if you did. The door was never locked. You may leave when you feel necessary. You sure you don't wanna, you know, no, no knock in the boots, no? Inquisitive? I'd imagine so. Why all of this? All of what? The charades? The games? <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Catch your rabbit and you might have the answer. Alright then. Nothing. Very well. Um, you might have to refresh uh you know, I'll type it in chat. That way you know for sure. So let's see what, what kind of books does she have? Understanding the Grey on the Grey God itself. Without knowing that such a being exists, any ple any uh Pleiocene, 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 there we go. Will have experienced the Grey's influence in one way or another. <clears throat> it's all just mind games. Its incorporeal effects take the form of doubt and faithlessness, as many would know. But unlike what many would like to believe, there are physical eff affectations. These take the forms of creatures that cannot be fully understood. They are not natural wildlife, like wolves and deer. They are something altogether more heinous. <clears throat> Slime. Hey! Awesome! Thank you, Orgaya! So, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, Gaikin is the feminine of... Gaikon. <laughs> Slime, broodlings, images, varish, uh, uh, varshish, kith. These are all embodiments of the influence the Grey has on this world. What exactly is the Grey, you might ask? In a word, negation. 
The four goddesses created our world with the elements, but without such elements, there is nothing. This nothing possesses an identity that wishes only for silence, or the death of us all in our world. This is the true identity of the Grey. Such hatred and evil claims lesser souls that bleed in from, from its world, reputed to be the mythological realm of the Iraq in the East, Dark Isle. A native as native creatures enter Plyas without a strength of will and faith, as is inherent with humans, the Grey overtakes them and they become its servants in destruction. These series will be cataloging them so that you, the reader, can better understand the absolute enemy of the four goddesses and why it is so important that we continue to uphold our faith and reject all that is against our world. Beauty of the Bloom. It's just, wait, guys, it's just, it's just a neck. Oh my god, our guy. Oh my god. Gunkin, the neck beard inning. Oh my god. Oh man. I do love cranberry grape juice. It's quite delicious. Beauty of the Bloom. Well, the creation of Fawn in the world can be attributed to the blessing of Lady Hitrana. The creation of the floor is most definitely the work of the come. Oh, wait, I already read this one, didn't I? Yes, I already read this one. Okay, yeah, we already read the Beauty of the Bloom, like, oh, a, a while ago. Okay. Oh, okay, this is one I haven't read. The Winged Prophet and the Philosophy of Duality. The second of the doctrines states that beauty must be respected, for ugliness creates a context that we may better understand evil. We reject what is ugly, even without wanting to. It is inherent to our kind. It's how we recognize what is wrong. But its true meaning was never understood until the onset of the winged prophet of Liquia, Salvatore. Salvatore prompted, promoted the belief that beauty inherently was not about aesthetics, but about the symmetry of being, the dual nature of the universe. Perhaps the greatest revelation, then, is that beauty cannot exist without its counterpoint. The winged prophet descended from on high and delivered to us the ideal the idea that in time all things will decay, as it is the nature of our world. Change is inevitable, and this means beauty will change into something ugly. But what provoked a sense of hope and wonder was the idea that the opposite is true as well. For if everything changes, if entropy is the only true natural state, then ugliness cannot remain without changing as well. Beauty must derive from ugliness, otherwise it defies what is true. A similar set of dual ideas reflects this intercontinuity, Creation and destruction. If the four goddesses create beauty, and the grey destroys it in the form of ugliness, then faith decrees we treat the two as both sacred. Yes, the most beautiful specimen will decay into ugliness, but that means the most heinous form will inevitably transform into something greater. This is what the winged prophet has taught us about the four goddesses and about our world, about ourselves. With enlightenment, the grey cannot touch us. Ooh. Ugly becomes hello. <laughs> Oh, Atlas. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, well, now we need to go find a rabbit. Interesting. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, hey, it's Vincent. You two get pretty bored. You must... You two... Blah, 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 blah. You two must get pretty bored down there lording over wounded animals. Your boss, tell me, is he working with those monsters? I've never seen the green-haired woman back in Hyola just before. I suppose it doesn't matter. Him, her, all of you. You've all put such extra effort in to cause my family harm. So I'd expect a form of retribution very soon. Getting tired of his yapping. Don't harass the prisoner. Barkin won't mind if he's missing a limb. What in the world? What just happened? Stay put, prisoner. I'm not even going to point out how cliche that statement in this scenario is. Ah! Hey, it's Garen! Yeah! Hello! My rescuer has a beard. <laughs> of my tickle, will you carry me away in your arms? <laughs> <sighs> I told you it was going to be like this. <laughs> uh, 
Nice shooting, Green. He, he is now. Thanks. I still have no idea what your name is. Hello again, Vincent. Did not expect to see you here. That must have taken you a while to come up with. Well, go do your thing. What? Oh, right. I was mesmerized by his hair. How did you find me? Well, it wasn't intentional, if that's what you're thinking. You were captured by those rogue freaks back in Guy Nitra after you left. Thanks to her, we escaped through a series of tunnels. And here we are. Somehow got back into another prison. Do you know where we are? I was captured out in the desert near Ring. But I wasn't given the courtesy of seeing where specifically they took me. I see. They got Jaren too? I thought she was back in Hyola. It's a long story. Well, apparently we have all the time in the world. What with the process of your cell door being open taking eight centuries? Hush. I'm used to opening these things from the inside. I'm used to opening these things from the inside. Bah! Stand aside! What are you doing? Move! Go for it, tough guy. Oh, you have got to be... <laughs> that really hurt. Are you done? There's no, there's, there's no need for such rudimentary tactics. One of those brutes has a key. You... You could have said that before! <laughs> Got it. Let's go. We need to be quick. Jaren needs medical attention. Can you assure that no further harm will come to her in the tunnels? No, but we don't have a choice. They have to lead somewhere. Alright, let's go! I think this I must I think my favorite part of all this is doing all the voices. <laughs> Hold up, Perrin. I have to ask. What did the Queen want? Ugh I can't say. I understand your discretion, especially if she made you promise not to disclose what she told you to anyone. But I want you to know that you can trust me. You know from last night that I trust you. But I won't pressure you. If you do think it is important to keep our conversation, your conversation a secret, then have faith you know what you're doing. And if you do end up needing help regardless, remember that Matoma and her children are willing to do so. I'm going to head back to the inn in Green District. I think it would be best if I stay in one place in case the King requires my attention again. If you learn anything new, come find me. Alright. So, I am supposed to... Let's see if the directives... Okay, so... Find the rabbit. Okay. I have a pretty good idea of where I need to go. It says where the pixies are. Now, all right, I gotta, I gotta, ooh. Ooh, hard reset. Thank you. Awesome. All right, I'm just leaving this. Yeah, I love the music, but it's really, like, really loud in my ears. Um, let's see here. Um... I'm pretty sure I, I need to go to the Red Desert. Yeah, can, like, can you totally find my dildo? I left it in the city somewhere, and someone is gonna use it, and it's gonna be gross and grody, and I'm not gonna want it anymore, so you better find it fast. Like, oh my god. That's blue. Where is the red? This is the legend. <laughs> I'm not, I'm gonna call myself legendary quite yet, but you know. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, Orkaya. Alright. Uh, right now, if I'm right... Okay, now... I'm not gonna go there quite yet. I'm pretty sure it's, like, where I found the pirate dude. Like, Captain, um... Captain Holden, I think was his name? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm such an idiot! I'm so sorry! <laughs> I 
I misunderstood what you said. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yes, he. Okay, hard reset is the legendary guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm turning so red, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, first, I'm gonna go see how my investments are doing, and then pretend that I'm not a complete moron. <laughs> well, uh, welcome, Hard Reset. I, I'm glad you could join us for my idiocy. Alright, um, let me see my return. Ooh, nice. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna withdraw right now. <laughs> I would like to withdraw. Certainly, here are your earnings. Excellent. And I would like to make another investment. How much are you putting down? 1,000 gold. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I'm right here. Oh, our guy is fine, guys. I'm the idiot here. I'm the one that misread what he said. I thought he was calling me a legendary stream. I'm like, hey, that's great, but you know, wow. Yeah, worst bank ever. <laughs> or best bank, yes. See, see, I, I apparently can't fucking read, you know? Yeah. That's an odd hole. Government should really consider covering it up. If they're not careful, those pixie things can swarm the city from here. Yes. I'm really enjoying the game, uh, Hard Reset, a lot. So, yeah, I'm... I, Thank you for coming along. Thanks for the cheer, man. Really, really appreciate it. So I'll catch you later. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure this is like, this is like he boarded up the hole because all the pixies are underneath. So. Arr! Oh, right. You ain't a guard. You mentioned a tunnel. Hey, I boarded it up for everyone's safety. I need access. Is that such a great idea? I must die down there to those winged monsters. Wouldn't want to rescind them all over the ring. But I can see you're determined. Hey, thanks for following me, Harry said. Nice. But I can see your determination. You're being polite. Whereas you could have just smashed down the wood. Be my guest then. Just know if they get out, it's on your head. Alright then. Take the boards down. Alright. I'm gonna save because I haven't in a while, and knowing me, that's like bad news. I'm gonna have a sip of juice. Mm. And we are gonna go fuck up some pixies. <laughs> yes, you do! Whoa. I don't know if I'm gonna do a good fairy or not. Okay, I'm. Oh, I don't. That, that was. Ah, that was quick. There you go. Thank you for. I mean, I made you a mod of the channel. You better follow it. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Where'd it go? It's a bit of a maze. Eh, we'll find our way. Or we'll just get hopelessly lost. One of the two. Let's see here. That's where I came in, and this is the other path. Okay, yep, yep, okay. Ah, good, we're on the other side of the hole, and it did nothing. What the? Wait, is this all just... Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. All right, let's see if I if I can pay closer attention to like my surroundings. Hook shot. Okay. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. <laughs> okay. Can't do nothing there. Okay. Wait, is that going? No, I can't go. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's going on here. What are we doing? Uh, okay, that was that's back at the entrance. No, that's not the entrance. Wait, did things change? 
I feel like things changed. Did the map change? Oh my god, I think it did. In fact, I'm, I'm fairly positive it did. Oh my god, it keeps changing. Oh my god, what's, what's going on? Oh my god, that... Friggin' fairies, I swear to god. The wee fae folk. I... The, the, the spiritual way to the spirit realm there, Tommy boy. Oh, never mess with the fey folk. Oh, oh. oh I, feel, I feel like something else may have changed. Did it? No? Oh my god. <gasps> that... What the... It's burnt out. Oh god, what did I do? I feel like... Oh my god. Okay, so obviously... And I obviously can't say it because... Oh god, oh god. It's burnt out, what do I... Oh, 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 oh! Equipment. Equip. Igniter? Ah, that hit me. I wasn't supposed to do that. Or do I let it get... I gotta let it get hot enough to reignite it. Right? Oh god. Why do I feel like I'm gonna die? Yeah, it's a good thing I like it too hard to help. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. I don't trust. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. And it's. Oh god. Burned out, okay. I, I can't kick it, it's not letting me. I can't reignite it. Oh my god. I'm so scared of letting that like that timer click all the way down. Especially since I can't freaking save. It's just it's burnt out. There. We're for it we're, we're just stuck in a time loop. I can't do it. Alright, let's see. It won't budge. Okay, that's burnt out. No, I can't do anything. What the heck? Oh my god, oh my god. See, at least I saved it just before I went to the Fairyland, so, you know, that's always good. Alright, I'm... Oh, I'm so scared. Um, just heal. Or Gaia. Fuck you. <laughs> You son of a bitch. All right, well. What the? Bunny girl. It's the bunny. Hello there. Oh, wait. Who are you? You're not a rabbit. I'm dressed like one, though. Mm hmm so, she's finally finished with the game. What's going on? It shouldn't take you too long to figure out. I'm it. I'm the Queen's rabbit. Congratulations, you caught me. Now you can return for your prize. <laughs> I can see confusion in your eyes. 
You have no idea what's going on, do you? What does that place she promised you to get you here? Huh, answers. I'm unsure what questions you've asked. Perhaps you'd just like to know why you've been hunting down a woman in a rabbit costume. I'm the queen's rabbit. Her quarry. Her reason for living. Mm, yeah. Or maybe just someone to have fun with on the side. It's unclear. What's clear is the benefit of it all. What benefit? <laughs> Has the queen told you about her philosophy of wanting something? Her sort of way of believing that nat the nature of all living things? Yes, I'd assume so. You know, both know she's far from being completely straight in the head. But... Look what happens if you have a pair of ears and a bored queen. The world is brought to its knees. The room you walked out of. I designed it based on a simple concept that I came up with when I began creating my little minions. <laughs> of course, they belong to me. This revolutionary concept is very simple. Panic. The queen began to feel that her very exi that her existence was becoming less and less relevant to the world, so she developed her idea of want. In an effort to confront her own crisis, she initiated this game with me, and upon believing herself to be mortal when faced with failure, she closed the gates to ring. <laughs> with the gates closed, confusion would spread. Players would be plunged into days without word, years without trade. People would be lost. Towns with decay. All of this would give rise to bullies like Aquans and fanatics like the Acolytes. Seclusion and isolation would become more prevalent, creating xenophobia and paranoia. Hence the glycol. Another new threat of the Gaikin, only to be initiated with purpose. A feat that will never be vanquished. Why? Because we kept panicking. We kept pushing the button. Okay, but who are you? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> Karen! <laughs> I don't know. Don't you? I think you do. Haven't you met the mercenaries I've hired? Or maybe the people I help bring over from their beloved Dark Isle? <gasps> oh, she's... Perhaps maybe the pedigree of paranoia. My adorable little brother, Melik. Oh. There's nothing more to discuss concerning this subject. You've been causing enough grief as it is. Please be aware of our hospitality. But that's just it. You're all fine. I just question reliance on, well, mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Given the increase in security for Ring, we need to increase our own as well, in case of an impending attack. The Iraq are proud, but not bullheaded. Why are you telling me this, but not anything else? Is Thorne just using this as an excuse for something else? Don't use Commander Thorne's name in that way. He would not lie. We are merely worried. Ritari. And I'm pretty sure my people are quite capable of writing. Writing isn't the issue. Our contract permits us, permits us to all grounds. We need to ensure the safety of... Oh, spare me, will you? Lady Batari will have, may have authorized your assistance... But believe me, she trusts my judgment over your own. The Otankin is sacred to our people, and during these times, for very specific and important reasons, no one is permitted to enter. You mean aside from the lady and prime minister himself. Was that supposed to mean something? Was that little bit of information supposed to intimidate me? Your lady will hear about this. Again, was that supposed to be threatening? I realize she's going to know about this, since I'm going to be the one to tell her. Now back off. <laughs> yeah, it is, a, it is a little long-winded, but I, yeah, it, it is a good point. The rulers of Ring of Lost have, have long had their sights in Ura to Eth. Well, the Sari Islands in general. We've taken them as our home years ago. It's obvious there's been a bit of tension between us and the mainland, but now it's at a tipping point. Since you're from the mainland, I'm sure you're already aware, Ring has been closed off. I'm unsure what reason they have for doing so. But the Lady Batari, from what I've heard, is wholly convinced that Ring means to make an attack on Ura to F. I don't think they are. I don't think anyone does. Not even Thorn. But no one will go against her word. She has led this isle for years, and to protect it, 
She hired mercenaries. <laughs> Your guy can too. <laughs> they literally arrived on the city's doorstep. Completely unheard of. No credentials. But the lady just accepted them instantly. I don't know what's going on. I mean, obviously something is. Do you understand now? I am the Uruk Queen, Lady Baitari. Why? <laughs> and this. This is why I hate people like Zanria, uh, Zarnia, like Varken, like Fury. Anyway, I'm, I'm, doing too, I'm going too valley girl. I was trying to be sensual. This is why I hate people like Zarnia, like Varken, like Fury, like you. So much of your lives, your tiny, insignificant lives, are spent just trying to understand the reasons for why certain things happen. So much that your daily tribulations have caused you to lose sight of trying to survive, trying to change the world. You ask why I'm doing all of this? I'll tell you. There isn't a reason. I'm at the cusp of starting a war between the people of Ring and the Uruk of Urateth. I hold a dagger at the throat of both cultures. With a flip of a wrist, the world will fly into chaos, and the Gaiken will arrive to wipe it clean. All because none of you could stop pressing that button. I could. Don't be haughty. The room was a metaphor, not nearly on the levels of what I'm referring to. You were never in any danger when refusing or accepting the unknown in there. Was there a reason for what happened to my home? Was there a reason the Uruk chose me as their leader and savior? Was there a reason why I woke up like this? With the world wanting to damn me at every turn? With every culture wanting to shun me with every pass? No one can understand that. I can. Because you're the Kalron, bringer of chaos and utter destruction. No, I don't think you would. Your existence is already explained, preordained from the reasons by which the world has granted you. Now what? Now you go back to your queen and relay everything I've told you. She's caught her rabbit, but she and the world are about to lose what they hold most dear. Justification. I should have been a woman. Then I could have done that really well and very sultry and... Mm, yes. Justification. <laughs> Alright, let's go. There's a hole. Let's go down the hole. Oh, I'm in the ring. Blue district. See if I can find my way around. <laughs> Alright, and... That's too far. I went too far. I went way too far. <laughs> I will never, never stop giving reasons to use the emote. Ever. That's like my favorite thing about all this. <laughs> it's the whole reason I started streaming. It's just for that. <laughs> Do I need to go to Queen first or turn okay, yep, return to the castle. There we go. Alright, let's save save our game and uh, go tell the queen we found her rabbit. Whoa, what the? <gasps> it's been a while, Perrin. Why are you here? To finish what we started. Don't try to run. No one is here to save you this time. It's over. 
By the order of the Great Uniter, you are hereby under arrest and meant to stand judgment before His Majesty. Come along quietly, and this will go easier. Alright, I'll submit for now, because I'm just trying to be a good boy. Quietly. That was for murdering the Elder. Absent was removed. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? What was, what was, what? what? Okay, let's uh, we'll save here. And so our guest has finally arrived. Absent is absent. Uniter Xanadu. Present. Uniter Colax. Present! Uniter Praxis. Present. Uniter Matoma. Did you just call me a dog? <laughs> oh, abs oh no, 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 don't take away my sword! That's, your, that's right, I was like, why does that sound so familiar? No, not my sword! Uniter Matoma. Speak. Present. Then all are present. The grand unity stands. As I understand it, Soul, you'll be filling in his representation for the guy Cole. Is that correct? Yes. The elder was killed during the attack. <laughs> Shame. Elder Undol and I were friends. Yes, I was aware of what you were before you and Drake entered my halls. Soul here was gracious enough to fill me in with the appropriate details. Now, Comrade Perrin, do you know why you are here? <laughs> well, you just said it. <laughs> yes, I did. You are because of what you are and the danger you pose to the people of Plyus. Before I begin, I would like to explain to you how this will work so we have a definite so we have a definitive plan of action and the judgment doesn't fall into chaos. Each of the Grand Unity, starting with myself, will start with a review of what we understand about you and whether or not trust is a weighing matter. Following this, I will offer the Gag Cole's representation to make their case and offer a solution to the issue. Seeing that they suffered firsthand from you, I see it only fair that they have a voice. After that, you will be allowed to speak. So I've heard from your defense from Drake there, there's no need for him here to repeat it all. Worry not, however. Everything he is told to me will be taken into consideration. Understand, however, that after everything is said and done, I will make the final decision. Should I see fit to go against the better judgment of the Collective, I would do so on my own whim. Now, are there any questions? Uh, I feel like if I ask that, it's going to be like... Blah, 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 blah. It, may, it may reflect poorly on me, so I'm just going to say, no, none. I face it head forth. Head, 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 I, I face it head first. What, whatever, you, you know what I mean, whatever. Very well. We shall proceed. I have a few points to bring up. It has been brought to my attention that you were cooperative during the arrest. I must thank you. As I do not want to harm, as I do not want any harm to come to my citizens. See, yeah, it was a good thing that I submitted quietly. Furthermore, reports have shown that you willingly brought my daughter into danger beneath the waterways of Blue District. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, she is a lady that you have done so. I understand that she is still a child and I can't allow for such irresponsible actions. <laughs> Melith's position will also be reviewed. <laughs> now, finally, what I consider to be the most important, if equally disturbing. The night prior to your arrival, I was granted a dream. It was black and white. I was sitting in an empty hall. You were there, Perrin. I had never met you before this dream. And you had approached me, weapon brandished. Most disturbingly, you plunged your weapon into my heart, killing me instantly. You must know by now that I'm a very superstitious man. All signs point to the direction of a dire omen, and that you are meant to murder me. Now then, that is a summation of my review. I will now allow for my uniters to say their peace, starting with Uniter Xanadu. Xanadu. Ah, yes. He refused to embrace the lady. He refused. Blah, 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 blah. He refused the embrace of Lady Liquia's flow.
Is that all? That is all that is required. Well, I certainly have more to say than that. Go on, you Nutter Colox. <laughs> he was rude. He disrespected his elders. Oh, is it? Now you tell me. Motherfucker. His venomous words were laced with implication that I wasn't doing my job effectively. And I need to offer one of my beacons. He should be hanged immediately. Hmm. Barbaric. What was that, Praxis? <sighs> Speak your mind. <laughs> Speak your mind, you're not your Praxis. I always speak for the others, but he and one of Matoma's children did help me when I had asked for it, despite the challenge. We all received their help, but you and I both know it's because Matoma over there thought the rest of us were inept. When water becomes inept, it freezes into ice. Oh, will you shut your yap already? Point is, this one has caused enough trouble as it is, and it's Matoma's fault. This is ridiculous. Who, Dr. Matoma, do you have anything to add? I prefer to listen to the guy Cole's proposed before offering my input. Of course you would. Very well. Soul of the guy Cole, you now have the floor. Your proposal? My proposal requires context. Out with it then. The first time I met Perrin was on White Island. There was no proper exchange. We made visual contact and that was the limit. It wasn't until we were both on Playa's Peninsula when I had received word that Perrin had not only defeated Aquana at the Iron Tower, but also defeated a spirit guarding the woods separating the peninsula from the mainland. This is also what guarded the attention of the Acolytes. Throughout his short time among our culture, Perrin has never said his violence against the forces of evil to conspire to, to cons that, that, that conspire to obliterate our way of life. Before I continue, I need to make clear on the subject of history. Really? Can't we skip all this and hang already? Go on, Solo. I've maintained focus. This has a point. Many years ago, the Gaikol was founded by a man named Arkan. He believed himself to be the bringer of the Gaikin, and in order to repent this curse, he sought to end the world's evil himself. He essentially formed a messiah complex. There's no doubting his skill, his will, and his bravery in all aspects. This led to the formation of Archon's Legion, which comprised of four monsters from the Bridge of Absence itself. Gizdin, Alk, uh, Alknaroth, Vamura, and Ulyxis. Perrin was right to defend himself against the guy Cole's attack. He was not aware of his status, and it was the Elder's mistake to let him know. I was at fault as well by letting emotion get the better of me. There should be no doubt that Perrin is skilled, strong-willed, and capable in all respects. Archon's reliance led to the Gaikin gaining the upper hand. Perrin is the same way. He will attempt to save this world, and in doing so, the world will come to ruin. Tell me, Perrin. When do you intend to enter the Bridge of Absence to rescue your friends? When do you intend to give the Gaikin the permission they need to enter our world? When do you intend to kill all of us? I don't. <laughs> that proposal is not out of malice, but out of necessity. He should be executed now, before this goes too far. Hmm. You're not your Matoma. You've heard the proposal. Now do you wish to speak? Allow Perrin to defend himself. Very well. Corrupt Perrin, you're free to decide how to make your case. Hmm. I want to live. I should live. Why? Hmm. I will kill the Gaikin. Hmm? Hmm? How? They do answer to me. 
do they? I'm inclined to believe the soul's idea that hubris is playing a part in your judgment. Very well. You're not a Matoma. You've heard both the proposal and the defense. Do you finally have an opinion? No, please, make us wait longer. Perrin believes he should live. Do you? I have not spent enough time with him to form a complete assessment of his character. However... Apparently enough time with us to do that! Enough collects. However, I am a person of faith above all else. If the Kulrub thinks it is best that he remains alive, then I do too. I second this notion. Hmm. And you too! My opinion has already been made clear! My own opinion is as clear as the waters of... It really isn't. <laughs> Death. Very well. I've made my decision. Call Rod Perrin. As there are three for the proposal of your immediate execution, and three against, including yourself, my decision will decide your fate. Unfortunately, with your past discrepancies, I cannot fully persuade myself into believing you are of no danger to the world. Therefore, you will be executed effective tomorrow morning. You will be done via a private hanging. I am sorry. Your death will be seen as noble. May the goddesses hand you their mercy. Ah, uh, I fucked up, didn't I? I fucked up. I shouldn't have taken the uh, I shouldn't have taken the the princess on the journey. I should have. Uh... Damn it! I fucked up. Be patient, Colrod. Castle Dungeon. Hey, ooh, it's a late night dungeon booty call from the queen. It should have stayed at home, but exactly. Oh, wait, wait. I find it intriguing that before this cage, liberty was only a passing thought. That is something of want, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, this is why this is really becoming one of my favorite RPG Maker games, is because of all the different layers you have onto this thing. Like, I had no idea that I could avoid... Like that dream, I just went up to the throne and I thought I could just... Hey, just I click on the flame and hey, that's that. I had no idea that there was a different outcome. You do realize that I'm going to end up playing this again and again. On my own time, probably, but you know. Oh my god, that... Ah, you and your multiple endings, you son of a bitch! <laughs> what do you want? To apologize. The grand unity was to be a small pet project meant to boost Daphne's already inflated ego. Whether he can make all the fruitless decisions he wanted. Well, I passively alter them to suit my own whams. This, your incarceration was unintentional. So for that, I am sorry. Is that all? No. If I had to guess, Matoma was the one who mostly stayed neutral so as to give the appearance of playing the King's Council. While in truth, biding her time. As I speak, she is sending her two daughters here to come rescue you. Regardless of the King's ultimate decision, it means nothing. Too many forces, Matoma, Drake, my daughter even, are conspiring to keep you alive and out there, causing chaos. Myself included, of course. Yeah, like, I, I want to go for different endings and different, like, I, I love it when there's, like, things like this that you can choose different paths and... Ah! <laughs> so, about a rabbit. You mean Bratari? Yes. For all the gifts and curses that woman possesses, she is incapable of coping with the pure randomness of the reason she has bestowed them in the first place. The poor girl strained until she decided that life made more sense without any sense attached to it. So now she means to start a war from the underbelly of a deluded king and a mistress who was far too spoiled upon entering adulthood. Why? To prove she was right. Like a rabbit, though. When I was a girl, all I ever wanted was a rabbit for a pet. Of course, my parents were far too focused on their own aspirations to accommodate my any child's needs. About achieving the status, it was the first thing I asked for, not demanded. A hundred rabbits! Right now! 
In doing so, I eliminate the value of desire. Upon witnessing firsthand the warped view of our mutual acquaintance, Batare, I believed I convinced her to play my game. The rabbit is a symbol for wanting something, but never achieving it. For it is not the rabbit I truly desired, but the want of it itself. I desire so much, ha. Huh? Desire and want, oh my god, yeah. In any case, it's fairly obvious you're not staying here. I think you already knew that. Your cage is open. Let go, little bunny rabbit. Leave when there is an opening. I imagine it will happen soon. For now, sleep. Gather your strength. Oh, the intrigue. When you awaken, I want you to fight her. And I want you to kill her. Skin that little bunny rabbit. Cause she's such a bitch. Like, oh my god. Just see what she was wearing. This rabbit ears are so gaudy. Like, my god. Stupid rabbit bitch. <gasps> Another. Can I, can I, <laughs> can I, can I skip this part? Can I be like, no, fuck you, it's not happening. I ain't falling for your games. Oh, I, there, there's a knock at my door. Genesis car won't start. I have to go get her. Okay. Her car's not working. Ugh, great. Are, do you need me or? No. Okay. I'm just letting you know that I'm leaving. To okay. Her. My sister's in my, my, my sister in law's car won't start. That sucks. But my wife is gonna go pick her up. Or, yeah, that's just oh jeez, and she just got that thing too. Ugh. Okay, so let's see here. Ah, oh, I'm on the compliance pack. God dang it! Wait, is that a bad thing? Because I'm I'm the Colorado of compl. Oh my god, I ended the world, didn't I, by being the good guy? You son of a bitch. You, you, you did this to me. Yes. I thought being the good guy was getting like a good ending. You, you fucked with my mind. Let them in. Okay, it was as I didn't like, you know. <laughs> oh man, I definitely, I, I definitely plan on playing his defiance. Door opened. Oh. There. Damn kid forgot to board it all back up again. No more issues now, though. Captain Holden is back in business. Really need to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> you there. You ain't in prison, are ya? <laughs> no. Finally. It's clear. Not a prison. Just a hole. Sorry for busting in. We have wounded. Mind if we use your bed there? Er, be my guest, I suppose. Thanks. So, eh, uh, quite the crew you have here. Do you know where we are? Get more this way without knowing you're beneath ring. Strange, who's digging with all the intent to get here? We're in ring? Ugh. I've come full circle once more. Do you know which stick street? Rip. What is going on? Do I even need to ask? All of you, wait here. Now, what in the world caused? Oh. As planned, Vimura. Remember a bargain, mortal. 
You're up. Oh, puns. Captain, have the rest scattered throughout the city. I want to try our respond in full. Yes, sir. Another great uniter joined me at the tower. Damn. Well, what is it? I'll explain along the way. For now, Garen, you're coming with me. And... Whatever your name is. Ugh. Just call me Lou for crying out loud. Right, okay. Lou, one final request for you. Take Vincent and Jaren and get out of the city once it's cleared. If Jaren can hold out, wait for us. Otherwise, head to Hyola. Fine, fine, but last favor! Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Hey, little weird elf guys. Why are you in prison? Is that, is that a... They imprisoned a rock. Child? My god. That's that's a, that's somebody's really fancy. Wait, is that a chicken in in prison? Is that chicken in prison with all the with all the good trimmings? Wow. Right, well, okay, let's get out of here. But first, <laughs> let's save real quick. Okay. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Good job. You brutally murdered the guy we're supposed to be saving. What? Aren't you a little concerned that I just completely eviscerated him? He's not even dead. See, he's alive. Manslaughter. What are you doing here? Mom told us everything. She told us everything, so we came to break you out of prison. Now we can start a riot! Write all you want. I'm going to do it stealthily. He's already out, idiot. But then you killed him. For the last time, he's not dead. Perrin, we need to get out of here quickly. During our infiltration of the castle, a ton of these armor guys just suddenly started attacking the guards. Ring is under attack. The mercenaries? I don't know. But we need to move. Quetzal joined your party. Zamul joined your party. As joined your party. Ha ha ha. Oh, she still has all that stuff. Okay, okay. And uh, as is still, you know, all about that sheep as. Whoa. And we save. <laughs> Holy crap. Ah, I need to get my sword. The coal rod. Disgusting. I say you're taking this opportunity to free yourself from justice. Why are you doing this? I'm doing this to save the world. Wasn't this already established? It ends here, Perrin. No, no, it doesn't. Derek! I apologize for my tardiness. To make things happen all at once for me to react appropriately. Stay out of this. This doesn't concern you. It does. It chose a poor day to be ordering me around. I've been denied most of the time we've been in the city. Yeah, let's take this guy out and say bring. No. What? He's not going to be alone. I assume the rest of the guy call will appear as backup, and such a fight will take too long. You two need to get Perrin back to Matoma before the fights between the Triar and the Mercenary envelops too much of the city. But I agree, we need to get to Mom as fast as possible. She has a plan. You're not taking this away from me. He coughs. Damn. Old age again. Probably shouldn't keep doing that. Well, all of you get out of here. Trust me. I got this. Right, good luck. You better come back. Just go. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm just going to pursue him. Mm. Huh. I guess we're late. Oh well. Hmm? Hmm? Hello, Drake. I assume you have something for me.
like the wolves. Fudge! Wait, what? Perrin? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Hyola! 